Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Henna and welcome to day 8 of the 28 day social distancing Pilates challenge. Today I want to share with you an easy belly bone Pilates workout to help you strengthen the core and also get rid of those fat in the area. So if you're ready, just roll your mat and let's begin. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral. Pull the belly button in and chest open. I want you to inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. We're gonna do a little bit warm up before we start for the main workout today. So inhale and exhale. And one more deep breath and exhale deeply through your mouth. So feel free to open your knees, bend your knees if it's more comfortable for you to lengthen your spine. Now open your arm to the side and start to rotate your torso to one side. Come back to your opposite side and back to the center. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. And now inhale four more times each side here with your own breath. Keep breathing. Three, belly button in to the other side. Two. Engage your core and feel your oblique twisting. Last one. And back to the center. Lengthen your arms. And I want you to inhale. Lengthen your spine and shoulders down. Lift your arms all the way up to the sky. And then bring your arms down to the side. Inhale. And exhale. And five. Four. Lengthen your spine and warm up your stomach here. Three. Two. And last one. And down. And now reach your arms all the way up, interlace your fingers and reach it as high as you can to stretch your stomach. And slowly bring it down, inhale. And exhale. And two, two more times with your own breath. Keep breathing and last one. And slowly bring your hands down, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse. All right, now I wanted to allow yourself to engage your core and slowly bring your hand on hand to the front of your chest. Now slowly lean back, what? So I'm gonna rotate to one side so you can see me easier. Now just pull the belly button in and slowly lean backward just a little bit. Don't have to be so much. Just really listen to your body and just lightly because we're still in warm up phase here. So inhale and slowly bring it back to the center. You can always bring your hands under your thighs here and walk your hands towards the hips and then slowly bring it back. So make sure you look towards the front and inhale. And exhale, come back. And four more times, take your own breath. Keep breathing, pull the belly button in. Really try to focus on your core. And three, keep breathing, come back. Two. And last one, inhale. And exhale, slowly come back to the center. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And reverse. Beautiful. Now I want you to inhale and bring your hand on hand, shoulders down in front of your chest here. Now push your chest up, pull the belly button in and lean backward here. Engage your core and try to keep your spine lengthening. Start to rotate your torso to one side and then come back to your opposite side and back to the center. We're going to try to do it for eight more times each side here with your own breath. Seven. Keep your shoulders far away from your ears and lengthen your spine. Feel your waist is twisting. It's lengthening and twisting. Keep breathing. And five, to your left, to your right. Four, inhale, exhale, come back to the center and to the other side. And three, belly button in, two. And last one, slowly back to the center and hug your knees to your chest. So this was very little um, try with the stomach today. Now inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> All right. Now you wanted to allow yourself to put your hands under your thighs, round your spine, open your elbows wider here, and chest up. So engage your core and then start to round your spine, chin your chest, each vertebra at a time. Now go a little bit further, walk your hands towards the hips here. Hold it here. Squeeze in the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles, and really pull the belly button towards the spine. And then walk your hands back, exhale through your mouth. Lengthen your spine and shoulders down. I'm going to try to do it for three more times with your own breath. So I wanted to take it slowly and as much time as you need to go with your own speed. And keep breathing. Come back slowly here with your own breath. And round your spine. 
and slowly bring it back to the center and two more times stay with your own breath so keep breathing come back slowly now last one and slowly lengthen your spine trust open shoulders down now come to own position here so open your arms shoulders apart and your legs if we apart pull the belly button in and imagining that you have two eyes on the elbows just rotate to face each other inhale deeply to your nose tuck your feet and exhale deeply to your mouth now i wanted to inhale and start to engage your core and now lift your knees up exhale bring it down 10 times with your own breath now if you want to make it easier for your wrists just put your forearms down to the mat here inhale lift and exhale down and 10 keep breathing nine eight lengthen your neck and look towards the middle of your fingers here seven six keep breathing and five four belly button in three two and last one slowly bring your knees down come to try pose inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now i want to inhale and lengthen your spine eyes on the elbows rotate to face each other up again shoulders far away from your ears and again if you want to make it easier just put your forearms down to the mat now lengthen your spine lengthen your legs here and then bend one knee come back to the opposite side so make sure when you do this just keep lengthening your spine here pull the belly button in inhale bend exhale lengthen to your opposite side and come back and 10 slowly inhale exhale nine keep breathing eight belly button in very good seven six and five more times here with your own breath four three two and last one inhale exhale to the opposite side and slowly bend your knees down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement let's light lean on the way and sit along the mat in the middle of the mat here so lengthen your legs dorsi flex with your feet and feel free to bend your knees to make it easier for lengthening your spine here otherwise just lengthen your legs and dorsi flex with your feet activate your feet for more challenging so bring your arm towards the front palms facing each other and slide back to open your chest so we already feel the core is engaging and working here i wanted to go further by just lean back what here now chest open and shoulders down pull the belly button in to really support your lower back i don't want you to feel any uncomfortable on your lower back right now i just really want you to focus on the core and use the core to strengthen your your abs your back and to burn those fat here so keep breathing inhale and exhale slowly come back to the center and five more times with your own breath so inhale down look towards the front and don't pull your chin up to the sky because it's gonna cause a lot of pressure on your neck so inhale down and exhale lift and four belly button in lengthen your arms and then come back three keep breathing belly button in two and last one inhale and exhale slowly bring it back and hands down shake your hips a little bit and you can bend your knees hug your knees to your chest if you need to inhale deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to rotate on one side here walk your hand further away into your opposite side and slowly back to the center now i want to inhale bend your knees here press your feet down to the mat and bring your hands towards the front now lean back what press up pull the belly button in lengthen your spine now inhale rotate your torso to one side exhale come back to your opposite side and back to the center i'm going to try to do it a couple more times with your own breath so keep breathing inhale and exhale to the other side feel your obliquity twisting and five to your right four belly button in three and two more times stay with your own breath and last one inhale exhale come back to the other side and back to the center and lengthen your spine shake your hips a little bit inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and the next movement i want you to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back so 
lift your legs up to 90 degree pull the belly button in and keep your back in neutral position here arms along your body now activate your feet and bring one leg down come back to your opposite side and back to the center we're gonna try to do it for five more times so with your own breath so keep breathing five to your left four belly button in to the other side three press your whole arms down to the mat shoulders far away from your ears two and last one inhale and exhale come back to the other side and slowly bring it down now lift one leg up and press one foot down to the mat here inhale deeply to your nose keep your back in neutral pull the belly button in and start to lengthen your legs and lower your legs down so engage your core as much as possible as low as you can but make sure you still press your hip bones down and keep your back in neutral position here inhale and lift your leg up and exhale bring it down pull the belly button in work your lower abs in a very easy way here now if you want to um, work your core more in this movement just lift your leg up and pull the belly button in and inhale lift exhale down to make it more challenging with your lower abs just lift your legs up to 90 degree and the other leg lengthen and then come back so the lower your leg is the more challenging your abs are and if you want to make it really really challenge here just bring both legs at the same time and then come back for 10 times here with your own breath keep breathing nine eight seven six five pull the belly button in four three very good shoulder blades down neutral back and belly button in and last one now move to the other side here so put your foot down lengthen the leg the other leg out to the front and then come back inhale and exhale 10 times you put your own breath nine keep breathing eight seven belly button in more challenge lift your leg up six and five and really challenge both legs at the same time four belly button in three keep breathing two and last one slowly bring your leg down shake your hips you know deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready just lift both legs up to 90 degrees one more time now activate your feet and pull your knees further away from your chest inhale deeply to your nose lift your chest up lift your head up really engage your core stick your lower back down to the mat now one face distance from your chin to your chest you can always use your hand to support your head if it's easier for you now arms along your body here so start to pumping your arms here and inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale and exhale lengthen your legs away if you want to make it even more challenging or press your feet down to the mat if you want to make it easier so really listen to your body here keep breathing inhale and exhale use your whole arms to pump lift your chest up one fist distance from your chin to your chest always press your lower back down to the mat and five four three two and last one and slowly bring your torso down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose rotate your ankles and exhale deeply through your mouth and then keep your arms along the body again lift your legs all the way up to the sky now inhale and start to bring one leg down and then switch to the other side and 10 times each side here with your own breath keep your back in neutral position and always bend your knees if it's easier for you so inhale lengthen to the other side keep breathing and six <sighs> exhale every time you switch press your hip bones down Pull the belly button in, keep your back in neutral arms along your body and three, two and last one and slowly hug your knees to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready just press your feet down and lift your head up, use your hand to support your head here, open your elbows wider and I want you to engage your core now try to move your whole chest up and then down just a little bit movement but really feel the six back abs working here so exhale reach inhale down press your feet down and ten nine keep breathing eight seven 
six now if you want to make it more challenging just lift your legs up to 90 degrees so you're gonna really feel the six back abs beautiful and lengthen your legs for even more challenge here and three two and last one and slowly bring your torso down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to lean on one side to the side lift so forearm down to the mat shoulders on top of your elbows here and lengthen your leg the top leg to the front your bottom leg to the back engage your core as much as possible now you can put your hand on the other hand for more support or you can bring your hand behind your head if it's easier for you or you can just rest your hand on your waist here make sure always keep your shoulders far away from your ears so inhale lift and exhale down and 10 more times so with your own breath keep breathing nine put your whole forearm down four i mean eight <laughs> seven keep breathing six and five try to lift your hips as high as you can four belly button in three two beautiful and last one lift and slowly bring it down to the opposite side so forearm down and again one foot to the front one foot to the back pull the belly button in and hand behind your head engage your core lift your hips up and down and 10 more times so with your own breath nine keep breathing eight feel your obliques seven belly button in six and five four very good three two now last one and slowly bring it down all right now allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back one more time so this time just bend your knee open your legs to with the part then engage your core here lift your legs up to 90 degree again activate your feet now move your knee further away so you're gonna create like a 90 degree on your hips and your knees so uh, arms along your body inhale deeply to your nose and lengthen your legs all the way up to the sky and then bring it down to 45 degree and then come back and then bend your knees i'm going to try to do it for eight times stay with your own breath but i wanted to make sure you always press your hip bones down to the mat and keep your back in neutral position don't add your back and don't flat press your back down to the mat if you're a beginner just feel free to press your back down but i really want you to keep your back in neutral to really feel your core here so lengthen and down and lift and bend and nine keep breathing come back and bend so inhale halfway come back and bend and seven keep breathing beautiful six belly button all the way in and five four and three more times stay with your own breath belly button all the way toward the spine and two press your whole shoulder blades down and last one lengthen and down and lift and bend and bring your feet down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now open your legs with the part press your feet down tuck the tailbone forward and draw your hips all the way up engage your core as much as possible now i want you to slowly inhale lift your heels up and down 10 times with your own breath nine keep breathing really engage your core here seven six and five four belly button in three two and last one and slowly bring your hips down shake your hips in your deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now keep your feet to the center lengthen one leg if you're a beginner you can just press your heel down to the mat and then slightly engage your core put your hips up and then down really pull the belly button in and mini bridging that way so inhale up and exhale down if you want more challenging just lift your leg just above the mat dorsiflex with your feet your foot and then inhale lift your hips up exhale bring it down we're gonna try to do it for eight more times so with your own breath so keep breathing seven six belly button in five four three beautiful two and last one lift and slowly bring it down to your opposite side so again put your heel down if you want to make it easier otherwise just leave it up parallel to the floor and clip and down and up and down 
and 10 keep breathing I mean 8 7 6 and 5 keep make sure that you keep your hips stabilized and balanced here 3 belly button in 2 and last one and slowly bring your feet back to the center shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement just lift your torso up use your hand to support your head open your elbows wider here and i want you to try to engage your core and we try to lift your opposite chest to the knee to the left knee the right chest to the left knee and then come back to the other side and back to the center and we're gonna do like basic crisscross here if you want more challenge just move to the full crisscross by lengthen one knee to chest and reach come back switch to the other side we're gonna do it for 10 more times here each side with your own breath again come back to the easy version if you feel like doing it and eight seven keep breathing belly button in six and five more times here with your own breath four exhale reach to the other side four and three beautiful almost done two you guys are amazing just keep it up last one to your opposite side and slowly bring it down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready just lift your legs up to 90 degree open your arm to the side for more support press your whole shoulder blades down and start to bring both legs to one side and then come back to your opposite side so make sure that you only bring your legs to the point that you still feel like your back is comfortable engage your core as much as possible move your knee further away to really create like 90 degree here and really work your obliques so keep breathing press your shoulder blades down and to the opposite side and seven to your left six to the other side and five more times stay with your own breath to your opposite side and four belly button in beautiful three and two more times stay with your own breath and last one inhale and exhale come back to the other side and slowly back to the center bring your feet down shake your hips in a deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready just slowly engage your core lengthen one leg to the front and lengthen opposite leg to the ceiling to the sky here now i wanted to inhale open your arm to the side now inhale lengthen your leg up to the sky and start to rotate your leg around your hip here make a large circle if you can inhale halfway exhale halfway if you want to make it easier just make a tiny circle up to the top here but really use your whole leg to move engage your core as much as possible now the lower your legs is the more challenge that your lower abs is so really press your hip bones down to the mat stabilize your hip bones stabilize your hips only your legs are moving keep breathing and five four belly button in three two and last one and reverse so 10 inhale halfway come back nine eight engage your core as much as possible feel free to bend your knee to 90 degree if it's easier for you but make sure you don't change the angle on your knee so every movement start from your hips here and five beautiful four good three keep breathing and two more times stay with your own breath now last one and slowly bring it back and press your foot down to the opposite side inhale and lengthen and start to press your whole shoulder blades down start to rotate your leg again 10 inhale halfway exhale halfway nine keep breathing belly button in eight stabilize your hips seven six belly button all the way towards the spine and five four lengthen your leg all the way up to the sky and press your opposite heel down to the mat three two and last one and reverse to the side a little bit wider if you can and then come back 
inhale halfway squeeze your thighs lengthen your whole leg really feel your lower abs is challenging and burning here beautiful inhale and exhale very good and five four squeezing the thighs three keep breathing two and last one and slowly bring it back to the center hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth you can rotate your ankles a little bit and then reverse all right now the next movement i wanted to inhale and lift your head up on fist distance from your chin to your chest hug your knees to your chest here and i wanted to engage your core press your lower back down to the mat so inhale arms and legs to the opposite side and exhale come back make it more challenging just lower your legs here now if you want to make it easier just each leg at a time and then come back so i'm going to try to do it for five times easy and five times challenging but feel free to just choose your best version so inhale and exhale back to the center lift your chest a little bit higher always engage your core belly button in and come back to the other side and last one inhale and exhale and both legs at the same time and bring it back make sure you don't arch your back here press your shoulder far away from your ears and press your lower back all the way towards the mat and two and last one lower and then come back and then hug your knees to your chest bring your head down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready just lean on one side to sit up now from here i wanted to inhale and sit along the mat here open your legs if with the part bend your knees down if you want more challenge just lengthen your legs here dusty flex with your feet now bring your arms towards the front palms facing each other and slide back to open your chest again rotate your torso to one side press your sitting bones down so your feet are not flat to it here just really press the feet down press your hip bone your sitting bones down to the mat so inhale rotate exhale come back to your opposite side and back to the center make it easier bend your knees make it more challenging lean backward and open your chest up rotate and then come back to the other side and back five more times to each side with your own breath so keep breathing four exhale every time you twist three two and last one to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to bend your knees here now the last challenging movement for today put your hands behind your hips engage your core close your elbow to the back now inhale and lift your hips up shoulders far away from your ears now i wanted to inhale try to lengthen both legs here and lift your hips as high as you can really pull the belly button in now each leg at a time lift it up and down engage your core as much as possible and five soften your elbows to make it easier for your wrist four to the right and three more times here to the opposite side engage your core here hips up as high as you can really feel your core and two and last one lift to the opposite side and slowly bring your heels down engage your core as much as possible rotate your wrist and then reverse all right and now lengthen your legs flex forward and use your core to bring it back stretch a little bit with your legs here and then come back to the center and three very good two and last one and slowly bring it back hands down rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse beautiful now open your arms to the side shoulders down soften your elbows rotate inhale exhale flex forward to your opposite ankle and then come back to the other side if you want to make it easier just go all the way towards the knee here and don't have to flex so far just really listen to your body to your hip and your lower back here we're going to try to do it for five more times stay with your own breath so keep breathing come back and four exhale reach inhale come back to the opposite side and back to the center three inhale and exhale come back two belly button in to the other side and last one reach come back 
to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center. Shake your hips a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. Now soften your knees a little bit here. And I wanted to inhale, start to rotate your knee towards each other. So your toes towards each other. Hold it here for three, two, and one open. We're stretching a little bit before we complete the work out today. And back to the center, inhale. And exhale, open. And slowly bring it back to the center. Lengthen your legs as much as you can. So really press those knees down and try to lengthen your front of your lower leg a little bit here. And then come back. And one more time, inhale. And exhale, shake your hips a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, and now I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your spine. You can cross your leg, you can open your leg, bend your knees here, up to you. Now lengthen and pull the belly button in, chest open and shoulders down. I wanted to bring your arm to the side and start to lean on one side to lengthen and stretch your waist, your oblique here. Inhale and exhale, come back to the opposite side and back to the center. Inhale to the other side and come back. We're gonna do it for three more times with your own breath. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale to the other side and come back. And last one. Reach a little bit further, lengthen your arm and slowly bring it back to the center. Now I want you to inhale and open, bend your elbows and open your arms all the way towards the back and then lengthen your arms and bend your elbows and bring it back to the front again one more time open and lengthen and then bend and to the front one more last time here with your own breath pull the belly button in hands down rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth pull the belly button in now close your eyes a little bit take a deep breath and exhale and one more deep breath and exhale now bring your hands on your knees here and start to rotate your shoulders fully into four directions and reverse now start to bring your head to one side make a full circle around your neck and slowly come back and one more round here and slowly bring it back to the center and bring your head to your opposite side and slowly back to the center, look up and down slowly with your own breath, listen to your neck here and one more time and exhale, change your chest and slowly bring it back to the center and that's the work out today, thank you so much for joining me I'm really happy that we already completed day 8 together and we already completed one third of the journey the challenge here i wanted to stay tuned i wanted to stick with me and we're gonna do it together so see you tomorrow on day nine bye